back to Mr. Mix Classroom. In this episode, we're going to talk about credit scores. So what I want to focus on are a couple things today. Number one, I want to focus on what the credit score is and what it does, and then how it affects you, and then the different parts of the credit score, or the different parts of your behavior, I should say, really, that affect your credit score. So first thing, let's take a look at the credit score here. You've probably heard about it before. It goes from 300 to 850, and these are the ratings here. So anything below an, uh, a 580, that's really bad. That's showing that you probably aren't going to pay your debt, um, and you're probably not trustworthy. If you're over an 800, that's exceptional, it's saying you're probably paying all your debts and you're very trustworthy. What we want to understand about the FICO credit score, because that's the one we're looking at, and that's the one that 90% of lenders use, is that what they're looking for here is they're trying to provide lenders a way to see, hey, are you going to pay your debts back? Or are you going to default on us? Are you a bum or are you trustworthy? That's what we want to know. Uh, and that's the main thing that we're looking at. So if you're exceptional, you're trustworthy. You're probably going to pay your debts back um, based on your past behavior. If you got from a 740 to a 799, you're pretty good. You're probably going to pay your debts back. You've done so in the past for the most part. You're still above average at this uh, 740 score. If you're between 670 and 739, you're all right. You're about average. You're, you know, you're about average. You'll probably pay your debts back, but sometimes maybe, yeah, we got to be a little careful with you. Once you're getting into fair here, now you, they say fair, but really you're below average if you have that 580 to 669. That says at times maybe you haven't paid your debts back in the past or you've been late, you missed a payment. If you're in that poor zone below a 580, that's when lenders have the red flag and they're saying, hey, this person might not pay us back. This person might... Mm, might not be so good with their money. And that's letting the lender know, hey, be careful with this person, right? Because they, their job is to get paid in giving you money. They want to just make sure they get their, uh, their money back. So why are credit scores important? A, it might help you get a loan, because if you have a bad credit score, they're less likely to lend to you because you're showing that you're less likely to pay your money back. But it's not just a yes, no, it's not binary. Instead, it can also have an actual effect on your loan amount. So on what you're, uh, what you're gonna end up paying in your interest rate. So here, this is, a, this is actually from my FICO, from the Fair Isaac Corporation's website right here. And it's given an example, uh, this is probably a couple years old on these 30-year uh, fixed rate mortgages, but it's still a good example of what it looks like for people uh, from with two different credit scores. So this is a someone with a 620 and this is someone with a 760 and they have a 30 year fixed mortgage. So say a person's getting a 30 year fixed mortgage on a home of $280,000. These are both, this one's a, you know, a fair credit score and this one's a, a really good credit or a good, very good, not the excellent, but a very good credit score. Um, but even though they're not, hugely different. We're not taking excellent and poor. We're taking fair and pretty good. We still see a major difference, right? This person is getting a 5.0 on their 30-year fixed mortgage, where this person is getting about a 3.5. And look what that does to their monthly payments. The person with a fair score is only going to pay $1,500 a month, where the person with a, a better score, with the 760, is only paying $1,256 a month. So they're paying $300 less a month because they got a score that's 140 points better. And then when you look at the life of the loan, it's even better, right? If you have that better score, it's even better for you. If you don't have the better score, it's worse. So when the, the total interest paid, this is talking about just interest right here, not about the amount of the loan. It's not about the loan, it's about the interest. The total interest this person paid with the 620 is 266. The person with the 760 is 172. So the person with the lower credit score over the life of the mortgage is paying $93,000 more just because they have a lower credit score. Part two of this video will describe how credit scores are compiled and what affects your credit score. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to Mr. Mix Classroom. Thanks for watching and see you next time.